one thing in, in my heart, uh, or rather, I was listening to something that made me think about something, mm-hmm. and uh, I was just pondering about it in my heart, and um, I, I just thought about my relationship with God. Mm-hmm. Like, what is the status of my relationship with God? And this is something that I'd like you to also ask yourself. What is the status of your relationship with God? Is it a reward system kind of relationship? Mm -hmm. You know, if the Lord does this, then Then, he is, you know, he's a mm -hmm. good father. He's God. He is, you know, is it a transactional relationship? Mm -hmm. Is it an intimate relationship? Where can you gauge your relationship with God. God. And what better time to just pause than right here um, on our devotion, mm-hmm. just to pause and really ask yourself, if you're driving, if you're walking, um, if you're in number three, if you're at home, just just ask yourself this question, really. And, uh, you know, you can be honest to yourself and to God. Um, and in this moment, I just really want you to ask yourself mm-hmm. and really just analyze, where, where am I with God? Are we on a transactional mm-hmm. basis that you know what every morning every day it is god do this please uh, daddy do this do this do this you know and is there any moment where you are just posing and just staying in his presence mm-hmm. just to worship him and that is why even as we were just asking for uh, for you to just send in your prayer requests i really felt that you know a lot of times we we just send prayer requests yeah we just have requests, requests, and there's no moment where we just, you know what, I just worship God with yeah. you guys. I'm, I'm just grateful that, you know, God is God, you mm. know, that um, I'm saved, I'm born um, in a new family of, of Christ, you know. And I think this is a challenge to all of us, because when I asked myself this question, I was like, wait. Well, you know some seasons you can find yourself being in a very transactional relationship mm-hmm. with God. And let's be real, let's be real, it happens. And sometimes you find yourself in that space, yeah. as I've said, not because you want to, but because life has pushed you to a point where you forget. You forget that you are a son or a daughter of God, and you're in this point where it's more like um, a servant master kind mm-hmm. of thing. You know, for, for some of us, it's not just asking God uh, for things and all that, but sometimes we find ourselves doing things for God so that he can, you know, he can do something, something for, for us. us. So by the time even maybe you're giving, for you, you're not giving because, you know, out of the abundance of your heart and out of, you know what, Lord, I am trusting you. This is a sacrifice. It's more like, Daddy, I'm giving you this. Mm-hmm. You do this. Um, and so... For, for a lot of us we find ourselves in this space where um i, I like to call this like we're in a space of an orphan spirit mm-hmm. so it is a space of lack it's a space of you know what if i do this for god if um I, god does this for me then he is god mm-hmm. or if i do this for god then he'll be able to do this for me and we're trying to um twist god and do a lot of things but tonight the lord is inviting us to have an intimate relationship mm-hmm. with him and this comes by first understanding who we are the identity that we have in him and having an intimate relationship with god sometimes just looks like you sitting in his presence sometimes and just you know just worshiping him Mm. and saying lord i'm just here to worship you i'm not here to ask for anything i am here to just say you know what lord you are good you are god Mm -hmm. you are adonai you know just worshiping him and telling him you know what lord you are king of kings You deserve all the glory and all the honor even if this matter has not been solved Mm -hmm. it doesn't change who god is the same way situations don't change who we are in christ it's the same way that situations don't change who god is in our lives Mm. and i hope that some of us i can move from that place of thinking you know what Mm -hmm. god has shifted god has changed because he has not answered prayer one to Mm zed And we can move from this point where we stop having transactional relationships with uh, re- a transactional relationship with God, a reward system. You know, uh, you're just waiting for your reward every time you do something. Mm-hmm. You're waiting for the reward. Apo apo, he is a good rewarder. He will do it, but it needs to come um, to a place where we can mature enough as believers and say that even in this storm god you are Mm. good even in this lord you are still good you remain to be god Mm -hmm. and you don't change because my situation has changed and i'd like us to read um a couple of scriptures and um We'll start with Matthew three seventeen, and this is uh, the place where um, Jesus was being baptized. Yeah, and a voice from heaven said, 
this is my son whom I love, with whom I am well pleased. Mm -hmm. And we see that the confirmation of the identity of Jesus was given way before he even began to do anything on earth. And so I think this is also God just encouraging us to, uh, and to tell us, you don't have to do something for you to be a son. In this mm. sense, it's an identity. Once you say yes to him, then you belong. And then after that, you begin to learn how to operate as a son. But it doesn't mean that in case um, you don't do that, then you, it's changed. Mm -hmm. Now you're not a son. Now you know you're in the outer court and, and maybe you're a servant, you know. But and I don't know why we... we we go through life with this mentality. I think it's just human uh, because that's how we interact with each other. You know, maybe for some of us, we're interacting with God, how we interact with business deals. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm bringing to the table. What are you bringing? You know, mm -hmm. and that's how we're getting into relationships as well these days. That me, I'm bringing this. What are you bringing yeah. as well? And so the Lord is just inviting us to have a shift in our mentality so that we can have the mind of Christ, mm -hmm. think like Christ, believe like Christ, so that we can begin to see things happening in our lives that we'd never think would even be possible just because of being. You know, God is calling us to a place of being, mm -hmm. being sons, not doing, to be a son. Amen. And so um, um, I'm going to read uh, this other two scriptures real quick. John 1, 12 to 13, 12 and 13. Mm -hmm. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, yeah. he gave the right to become children oh God. of God. Amen. Children not of natural descent, mm -hmm. nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. Amen. And Amen. the last portion of scripture we're going to read, 2 Corinthians 6, 18, and it says, And I will be a father to you, mm -hmm. And you will be my sons and daughters, Amen. says the Lord Almighty. And so in this moment, I just um, invite us to just pause and just pray. Mm -hmm. yeah? And maybe you, you, as you've been thinking about your relationship with God, you've seen, hey, and you're here. I'm in a transactional relationship. I'm in a place where it is a reward system. If the Lord doesn't give me this, does mm -hmm. not answer my prayer, then he is not good. And in this moment, um, I just invite us to repent of this. And I just ask you to, to just open up your mouth and ask the lord to forgive you for this uh, mindset and to you know for just um looking at him as as a god who will just you know it's it's transactional mm. give 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 and if he doesn't then he's not good he's not your father and in this moment lord we just ask for your forgiveness for the yes, times lord, we've done this because us, all of us have been in this mm. point where we have looked at you as a transactional god where we just you know want to take and take and be given mm -hmm. and we forget to just love on you and we forget to just you know have an intimate relationship yes, with you lord. and so lord we ask for your forgiveness forgive, forgive us lord, lord. Yes. forgive us lord and we pray that tonight would you remind us what it means to have an intimate relationship yes, with father. you would you remind us that it means for us to sit in your presence mm -hmm. to adore you to worship you and that all these other things will be added lord yes. daddy we know that you are a good god and no good gift would you withhold from yes, us lord. but lord we pray that would you help us to focus mm. on you would you help us to focus on your goodness us, would you help us to focus on your heart yes, then lord. we may choose to be all about your business yes, the kingdom business and not just looking at what is it in it yes, for lord. us mighty god mm. we pray that lord would you help us to have a, a heavenly mindset where we are mm. thinking about that which you are thinking about yes. that we may be one mighty god yes. we pray that lord would you help us help us lord Help us, Lord, to walk in step with you. Help us, Lord Jesus, to worship you, to, yes. to follow the way that you're leading us. Because sometimes the Holy Spirit nudges us and tells us, no, by the way, you need to pause and you need to worship. But we are so busy moving on, moving on. And I pray that tonight, Lord, that you would help us. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to honor you. Help us to worship you and help us to have an intimate relationship with you that is not just transactional, that is not about results, yes. but it is a place where we are secure in our identity as your children, Lord. Amen. We thank you, King of Kings, and we bless you. It's in your name, Jesus, we've prayed and believed. Amen. amen and amen. Pearl Radio, the home of fresh and classic hits.